Hey there, I have a message for you. Did you know I have hundreds of detailed tutorials showing a step-by-step in how to cut and style all types of hair in my app? Plus, you can be part of a private community where you can ask all your questions directed to me and of course, connect with barbers all over the world. If you want to become a barber with a high performance and make six figure a year, join us. The link is on the description on this video. So usually I like to get uh, the size short. Like, like fade, fade, like a low fade, okay. Yeah. And leave some little bit of hair here on the top to just brush it to the side. To the side. Uh, but I'm also open to trying something new or a different style that fits better for me. Okay, let's do that. I wanna do something amazing for you, okay? Thank you for coming. Guys, I'm applying a little bit of grooming. Grooming is gonna help me section out the hair. And since I always start like mapping out with sections, with big panels, after that, I take some sections to create my shape, cut my length. So the idea here is to maintain with the grooming to maintain the hair wet longer so I can use do all the scissor work first and then I'm gonna do the fade on the side. Guys, now the hair is damp. As I always say, the hair always grow, has its own natural growth patterns. You see the hair flows forward, down, and this forward. So guys, you saw I started my section on the crown. Now I'm gonna go all the way to my high recession. So now I'm going to put my base on my mid recession. Now, even if the hair is short, if you can grab it to create your base, amazing doing it, do it. But if you can't grab it, cannot grab it with your fingers, what you can do is just debulk with uh, whatever guard you like to debulk and then you start from there. I'm gonna take one profile guide in the center, like a finger width, very small section. I'm gonna come from the side and choose my length, okay? What I'm gonna do Take, choose my length, and I'm going to create a triangular shape for him, which is going to be longer on his fringe, and is going to be shorter towards here, the crown. So I'm not touching this side, I already have my section there. Check for my length, check for my guide. So now, since my guide is from the center, it means that the guide it is in my, in my side here. So every time I lift the hair up, I need to lift before I cut from the comb is gonna come from me to his right hand side because that way I can find my guide by kind of combing over the long hair. I'm gonna take a new section on my left hand side, come back here. Now my guide is on the other side. What I do, I groom the hair inside my hands, but before I cut, I groom the hair from the right to the left. And then I do this with my comb. I kind of pick up the hair with my comb and check for my length. So now I couldn't see my length, I couldn't see my guide because I'm very low in showing you. But if I do this, my length and my guide is right here, okay? By mapping out the hair, section out the hair, I have more control. 
of everything, control of my haircut, control of the hair. So now I'm going to connect the hair and I want this heavy. I'm gonna take a small triangle and I'm gonna bring the hair from the top down to my base. A little bit elevated to check if there's anything left. There's no nothing overlapping. So now it's time for blow drying styling. This is the finalization. Before I start fading the sides, I'm gonna apply a matter effect product. This product will give me like a silk natural look. And I'm going to apply the this, this product all lower not where I'm gonna fade, but the top, or ridge, and back. So now I'm going to use medium pressure, medium heat. I'm gonna lift this a little bit, but not too much. Maintain his uh, natural wavy. I'm not straining out too much the hair. So here you already know, I put my base on my mid recession, I'm grooming down just to check for my base, I'm going to use number two to debulk. I'm going to do my zero and below now since I debulk. My zero. It's going to be like a quarter inch around his hairline. Remember, I want to maintain like a very, very low fade. Now I'm creating uh, my second graduation line with half closed, like a finger width above. Finger width higher from my first guideline. So now I'm going to zero open and using my lever all the way down to close to remove the, this line. I'm starting open so I feel more comfortable. So I can feel more comfortable. I'm working with my lever. Now zero closed. I'm going to start blending down everything without making another uh, guideline. It's just because I want a more contrast here as well. So, one and a half closed. One and a half closed. Tapping two. One open now. So I'm starting with the one open here. Put it down. One open all the way, tapping one and a half. So closing now, all the way. Number one closed. Half open, close all the way, kind of dusting off right here, a little bit. Just work on this connection. Guys, I'm using my barbering comb. So I'm going to work, I'm only going to use the narrow side, it's just because his hair is short around here already. Now 
as you can see it's kind of lighter here and it start graduating and then you can see the line like more pronounced working on my outline here My idea is always maintain this outline natural. Guys, I finished the whole haircut. I'm apply. I'm gonna do the last detail. This is the finalization. I'm pushing, pulling from his crown here. I wanna maintain the crown very pronounced. Here low and the fringe not too high, but at the same time with a little bit of volume and that's it. Since I trim it, Almost done. This is the final, final result. Just gonna apply a little bit of uh, hairspray just to maintain, give more longevity. But this is the final result. Mm -hmm.